Welcome to the Running Start Information Session. My name is Shweta, and I am one of the advisors for the Running Start Department. We are so excited to hear that you are interested in the Running Start program. We want to start off by pointing out that we are on social media, so feel free to follow us on Instagram or like us on Facebook to get a sneak peek into the Running Start office and to stay up to date on the latest information and important reminders once you are an enrolled Running Start student. Additionally, in our office, we have a director, a program specialist, a program coordinator, and a program assistant. If you call our front desk with any questions, you will likely be speaking with one of them. We also have four advisors who work with students based on last name. You will receive more information about advisor assignments at your in-person orientation, or what we call wrap session. If you have any questions about this presentation, stay tuned because my colleague Ian will be covering some frequently asked questions at the end of the presentation. So let's get started. To give you an overview of our agenda, today we will be covering the following information. Running Start Basics, Benefits and Considerations, Academic Performance and Resources, What Makes a Running Start Student Successful, Cost of Attendance, and Eligibility Requirements, and How to Get Started. So, what is Running Start? Running Start is a learning by choice legislation that was passed in 1990. This legislation allows students to attend any of the 34 community and technical colleges in Washington State to challenge themselves academically by taking rigorous college courses. So Running Start is known as a dual credit program. For example, many students know that they have to take a junior English at their high school. And most degrees at Green River College require a course called English and 101. So a student may take English and 101 here to satisfy both a degree requirement and their high school graduation requirement, thus earning dual credit for both the high school and the college. While students can attend any of the 34 technical or community colleges, here's a few reasons why we recommend Green River. The first is that we have a dedicated Running Start team, like I mentioned earlier. Many other colleges either co-advise Running Start students or they are co-located within the General Advising Center. However, here at Green River, we have our own office with our own dedicated staff, as we had explained, and we're here to focus on Running Start students. And that is each of our area of expertise, understanding how high school classes fit in with college courses within a degree. We also offer personalized advising. So once students are enrolled into our program, this would be after they attend their in-person orientation and sign up for classes, they have the opportunity to create a long-term education planning appointment with their advisor. With careful planning on both the students and the advisor's end, many students are able to leave the appointment with an idea of what classes they need for high school, for their degree, and for prerequisites for their major. Students are required to be actively involved in the planning process as college advisors do not know which specific high school graduation requirements each student has, since this varies by high school district and high school. We also offer transfer and career training degrees and certificates. One of our most common transfer degrees that students may pursue if they plan to go on to a four-year university is the Associate in Arts, which is also known as a general degree for undecided students or is a great degree for students who just want to explore. But we also have an Associate in Business, an Associate in Pre-Nursing, an Associate in Computer Science, and many more. We also offer training degrees and certifications that allow students to go straight into the workforce, such as welding, carpentry, automotive, aviation, business management, and more. Green River College also has study abroad opportunities that Running Start students are eligible for. We've had students travel all across the world. We're additionally committed to diversity and equity and providing that safe space for our students. 
We want students to know that if they have any questions or concerns, they should definitely check in with our office and we will do our best to assist them or get them connected with somebody who can. And lastly, student leadership opportunities. Most students participating in Running Start likely plan to transfer to a four-year university and extracurricular activities and leadership roles are a great plus to your application. In the past, we had a student who was in a paid position as vice president of the Green River College Student Government Club. We've also had Running Start students create their own clubs too. As with most things, there are benefits and considerations to the Running Start program. We'll start off by talking about the benefits. The first benefit is that students are able to enroll in up to 15 college tuition funded credits per quarter, which is based on their high school enrollment. 15 credits, which is typically three five credit classes, is what we consider a full-time student. For most students in school districts, students can be enrolled into one class at the high school, but still take 15 credits at the college. However, if a student is enrolled at two classes at the high school, then their enrollment at the college decreases. So typically when a student is at two classes at the high school, then they'll take two classes at the college, which is about 10 credits. We also offer a wide variety of classes with a flexible class schedule. We offer in-person classes that are daily, which is Monday through Friday, about 50 minutes a day. We offer hybrid classes, which are half online and half in person, and we offer online classes. However, at this time, we cannot guarantee that an entire degree can be completed online. We offer classes as early as 7 a.m. to as late as 7 p.m. <clears throat> at our main Auburn campus, Kent campus, Enum Clock Campus, and some at our Auburn Downtown Campus. <clears throat> and again, not only are students completing high school graduation requirements, they are also working towards a degree um, and can complete prerequisites for their intended major. We cannot guarantee that all of a student's credits will transfer to universities. So we encourage students to connect with an admissions advisor at their intended university on questions regarding course transferability. Now we have considerations. We want to make it clear that while Reading Start is a great program, it is not a good fit for everyone. And no, we are not talking about students who do not have good grades. We have seen students who have struggled in the high school come here and earn A's, but we've also seen the opposite. Students who have excelled at the high school, but they're unable to handle the time management required in Running Start, and they have failed out of the program. Therefore, here are some factors we want students to consider. The first is that courses are much more fast paced. At the high school, students are used to learning over a year of time from September to June. However, here at Green River College, we use a quarterly system. We have four quarters, fall, which is about September through December, winter, which is about January through March, and spring, which is about April through June. We also have summer quarter, but this is not covered by the Running Start program. So what you have learned, what you would have learned at the high school in nine months, you'll have to learn in about 10 weeks or two and a half months at Gruniver. This is what we have heard that students struggle with the most. College courses are also taught with the perspective of an adult learning environment. So topics that parents or guardians may have opted students out of at the high school is not an option to be opted out here. Students may cover religious or political topics in their courses. Additionally, while we do have a lot of Running Start students here, Running Start students will still have classes with folks who are their parents' age or even their grandparents' age, and courses will be taken with students from all backgrounds and walks of life. Now this one is super important. High school and college schedules differ. And at Green River, we have a no show replacement procedure, meaning if you are not in class on the first day of school, 
the instructor has the right to give up your seat to another student. This is important because a lot of times students and families will book vacations because their high school is out, but Green River is still in session. We obviously want families to continue booking vacations. We think that is wonderful. However, if a student misses their first day of class, they will likely lose their seat. And if they miss more than that, the instructor may drop the student from the course or the student may risk failing because again, classes at Green River are much more fast paced. Missing a week of class at Green River is equivalent to missing almost a month at the high school. That's a lot of information. Um, we also do not offer transportation or free or reduced meals at this time through the Running Start program. And hopefully all of you, if not most of you, were aware that Running Start is not entirely free. So while the costs are significantly reduced, there are still costs that must be paid quarterly. We will go over this more in depth in a bit. Lastly, we have something called FERPA here which is similar to HIPAA for medical, where once your child turns 18, they have to release their information to you. Except for us, it's not an age-binding legality. This law is called the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, and the minute your student leaves their in-person orientation, the minute they leave their wrap session, they will be held to this law. However, please know that we do highly encourage students to fill out their FERPA release of information form during their in-person orientation. We even give them time to do so and turn it in at the orientation. We strongly encourage parents to have an empowering discussion with their students, letting them know that you want to be able to support them in their educational journey. And students, if, you're pay if your parent is paying for your fees while you're here, you may want to consider turning in this FERPA release of information form. Otherwise, we can't even tell your parents how much you owe for the quarter. Now that we've explained considerations, we want to talk about what a successful college student does. Once a, a new student is in the process of enrolling, they will get the opportunity to create their Green River student email, and this will be their means of communication moving forward. As you've seen, while we have a dedicated Running Start staff, there's only eight of us in total. However, we have over 2,000 Running Start students enrolled into our program. While we would love to be able to call every student, we cannot. But we do send out all of our important registration information, payment reminders, academic standards notices, campus closures, etc., through the Green River student email. Many Running Start students would agree that as long as a student is checking their email at least twice a week, they will be able to stay on top of all of this important information. Instructors will also only communicate with you through your student email. The next area we'd like to discuss is attendance and preparedness. Given that the quarter system here is about 11 weeks, it's crucial that students not only attend their class, but attend their class prepared. Even though there will be less work in the classroom, this means that there will be more work outside of the classroom that is required. And students should be dedicated to having their readings or assigned work complete so that they can understand the lecture for the week. It is also important for students to get to know their instructors and classmates. I know that I myself usually wasn't comfortable asking questions in class, but the great thing is, is that instructors here offer office hours where you can talk to them one-on-one -on -one, or you can also email them if you feel yourself feeling confused or lost. However, having a study buddy in your class or someone you can text or call when you need support on assignments is also one of the most beneficial things that Running Start alumni have said that you can do. Again, with over 2,000 Running Start students in the program, even if you may not think you have a Running Start student in your class, the likelihood is that you probably do. Being proactive rather than reactive as a student is critical. While we understand that the transition from high school to college may not be easy, it's also important to ask for help when you need help. We always tell students, help us help you. If you come to us at the end of the quarter telling us you failed a class, 
there isn't much we can do to help you at that point. But if you reach out to us earlier on or to your instructor, then we may be able to walk you through your options. Utilizing campus resources can also make for a successful college student. We offer the Public Speaking Center, Writing Center, Tutoring and Resource Center, Math Learning Center, Disability Support Services, Counseling Services, and others. Many students have confirmed that if they utilize the resources that were available to them um, and fit the area that they needed support in, they noticed they felt a better transition from high school to college. Last, but definitely not least, is time management. As we mentioned earlier, courses are much more fast paced at Greenover College. And for every credit hour a student spends in class, they should anticipate to spend two hours studying outside of class. Therefore, for every five credit course, it's about 10 hours studying outside of class. A full-time student in 15 credits would need to spend 30 hours studying outside of class. So, if a student is working a part-time job, is still involved in extracurricular activities, and is a full-time student at Green River College, they need to be able to have realistic time management plan and planning ahead. Students are given much more freedom with their schedule, but if they do not manage their time, and since instructors aren't checking in on them like they would at the high school, they find themselves falling behind much more quickly and may end up failing their classes. Which brings us to our next slide, college versus the high school. Many students, especially when they've realized their struggle during their first quarter, admit that they feel like there's a big transition period between high school and the college. Institutional policies and procedures is where we would like to start. All of the policies and procedures that apply to general college students at Green River apply to Running Start students too, because again, you're still coming in as a general college student. Academic standards, student code of conduct, registration, dates and deadlines. There are no exceptions for students just because they are in Running Start. If a student's registration is slated to open up at a certain day, at a certain time, the Running Start office does not have the ability to change their registration time. Or if a student misses the last day to withdraw from a class and is wondering if we can make an exception for them, we cannot. And as we've mentioned earlier, the no-show replacement procedure, which also applies to all students, including Running Start, Additionally, in regards to registration, at the high school, students may be used to their high school counselor registering them for their courses, but here students are responsible for adding courses, dropping courses, and managing their wait lists. As for dates and deadlines, there, have, there may have been more flexibility at the high school in missing classes for planned vacations or turning in assignments late, but at Green River, you need to talk to each individual instructor on their policies and procedures around this. Long story short, late work and makeup tests usually are not offered unless it's for extenuating circumstances. Instructors also have the right to set up their course how they would like. This means students may have a class where their grade is just based upon three tests, and other classes might have participation points, tests, quizzes, and assignments, etc. One of the main things we'd really like to emphasis, emphasize with this area is that instructors are not obligated to talk to parents. We've had a lot of students who do not communicate with their instructors, and then mom or dad want to talk to the instructor because they have a release of information with the Running Start department. But this does not mean that you can speak to the instructor. Ultimately, it's up to the instructor's discretion what information they do or do not want to share with you, which is why earlier we strongly encourage that if students are feeling lost or disconnected, they should connect with their instructors as soon as possible to communicate what they are struggling with. Which brings us to our last two points, communication and self-management. While we think Running Start is a great program, again, we want to emphasize that it is not a good fit for everyone. 
students who join this program need to understand that while we will support them and understand that it is going to be a learning curve, we also expect students to recognize the difference and how they should behave. This is no longer the high school. Students will be expected to act like adults, register for classes on their own, communicate with either us or the instructors if they have questions. There won't be hand-holding anymore. And this is where, again, I say, help us help you. If you need help, there's over 2,000 Running Start students. And as of right now, only four advisors. So as my colleague LaToya says, it's much easier for you to manage yourself as a student and reach out to us if you need help than for us to manage all 2,000 students. We're all here to help you at Green River College, but you need to let us know so that we can give you the support, advice, and guidance you need to ensure that you are successful and that you learn and grow in your time here. Thank you so much. I'm going to pass it off to my colleague Ian and he'll be talking a little more in depth about academic standards um, and the financial component of Running Start. Thank you, Shweta. Now let's discuss academic standards at Green River College. And first, let's talk about eligibility. Running Start students must be eligible for English 101 to enroll in the program. And in order to stay in good academic standing in the program, they must maintain a 2.0 quarterly and cumulative GPA. And they must complete 75% of their classes each term. For example, if you are taking three five credit classes and you withdraw or fail one of them, you will fall below the 75% completion rate and you will be placed on academic standards. Green River has a three strike academic standards process. Caution, intervention, and dismissal. Your first academic standards strike, academic caution, will result in a block on your account that will restrict your ability to register for classes. You will need to fill out our academic caution paperwork and then meet with your, our, your Running Start advisor. You will discuss what happened and develop a plan so you can be successful moving forward. And then we will remove your block. Your second academic strike, intervention, is much more serious. You will have to fill out additional paperwork with signatures from your high school counselor and parents or guardians. You will meet with your Running Start advisor and we are going to discuss whether Running Start is a good fit for you or whether you should return to the high school. You will also have this conversation with your high school counselor. With your Running Start advisor, you will again detail a success plan going forward and only at that point we will remove the block on your account. Your third strike will result in a dismissal from Green River College, and you will have to go back to the high school to complete your requirements. We take academic standards very seriously because your performance now can have a number of future impacts. It can delay your high school graduation, it can affect your university admissions, and it can jeopardize your financial aid and scholarship eligibility. And you must remember that your college transcripts are permanent. If you apply for a job 10 years from now, your performance from Running Start will still be on your college transcripts. Now let's talk about costs associated with Running Start. Running Start is not 100% free. Running Start students must pay the following fees and cost. First, you must pay student voted fees. These fees are voted for by the student body and go towards the building and maintenance of the student recreation center, student union building, and all future uh, student benefits on campus. Class fees include tech technology support for online and hybrid classes and maintenance of labs and art studios, for example. 
You also have to pay for any credits you take above your approved credits that are listed on your enrollment verification form, which is determined by your high school counselor. For instance, if your credit limit on your EVF is 10 credits, but you want to take 15 credits, you will have to pay for five credits, uh, the difference between the 15 and the 10, which at this time will come to roughly $650. Running Start does not pay for summer classes or classes under 100 level. One exception to this rule is Reading 104. Running Start does not pay for this class. You must also pay for all textbooks and class material. Textbooks can be expensive, so we encourage students to search online for the best deal and to find used options for their books. And lastly, you must pay for your transportation to and from campus. And I will note that financial aid is not available to Running Start students because it is only for students who have already earned a high school diploma. Let's do a cost scenario. If you were taking a full 15 credit course load, an in-person English 101 class, a hybrid History 137, part in class, part online, and an in-person Art 114 class. You would owe $184.50 in student voted fees and $43.50 in class fees, a portion for the hybrid history class and for the use of the art studio. This comes to a total of $228. We tell students to estimate between $200 and $300 of fees uh, for a full-time load. However, we do offer a fee waiver and book loan program for eligible students that will waive student voted fees and provide at least one of your textbooks, if not more. You will still need to pay for the class fees, however. Eligibility for the fee waiver and book loan program includes if you are or were eligible for free and reduced lunches in the last five years, if you meet the household income eligibility listed on the application, if you are receiving public assistance or state aid, if you are a foster youth, or if you are college bound eligible. So if we use the previous cost scenario again, you can see that the student voted fees are waived and you are left with $43.50 plus whatever books we are unable to provide through the book loan program. To get started with Running Start, you must first apply to Green River College online. You will then activate your student email and you will need to complete the online orientation. Next, you must determine your eligibility for English 101. You can do this by earning a three or four on your Smarter Balance assessment or by taking the College Success Assessment through the Testing Center at Green River College. Next, you will need to complete and submit the RS enrollment packet to the Running Start office at the Auburn main campus or email it while we are working remotely. Lastly, you need to sign up for the mandatory in-person or Zoom registration sessions. We call these wraps. This is important. You will not be able to register until you have completed a wrap session. Here's a brief timeline for fall 2020. Turn in your enrollment packet as soon as possible. We started accepting them in April. Attend a wrap session. The first one starts May 26th. 
once you do the wrap session and register for classes, the first day of fall quarter is September 21st. Some important dates for the fall quarter. Tuesday, May 26th, registration opens. You must pay your fees by Tuesday, September 1st. Your enrollment packet deadline is Friday, September 11th. And again, the quarter begins Monday, September 21st. If you have any additional questions, you can contact us via email at runningstart at greenriver.edu or by phone 253-288-3380. You can also find additional information at our website, greenriver.edu slash running start. On our website, you will also find a link to frequently asked questions. This is a helpful place to start if you have questions. At this point, I will read through a few of these frequently asked questions um, that we often receive during information sessions. Can students take English assessment at another college and have it apply at Green River? Yes, if students take assessment at another college, a Green River Running Start advisor will need to review the scores Scores must be less than two years old. Can home and private school students participate in Running Start? Yes, students must enroll through the local public high school and must be considered a junior or senior. Students do not have to attend classes in the public high school in order to participate in Running Start. It is the responsibility of the public school district to establish grade placement criteria for homeschoolers who want to earn a high school diploma from a public high school. Some schools consider age appropriateness, others review credits and prior learning. In other cases, a standardized achievement test may be used in the absence of adequate documentation of a student's home-based home education. Can students attend Green River full-time or part-time? Yes, students can take all of your classes at Green River or some at Green River and some at your high school. The average credit load for Running Start students is 12 to 15 credits per quarter, approximately three classes. The maximum number of credits for each Running Start will cover tuition is 15 credits per quarter, providing you do not exceed the combined enrollment limit, which is detailed on your Running Start enrollment verification form. The placement didn't accurately reflect my students' abilities. Help! Running Start students are strongly encouraged to continue with math, math courses, even if they have met their high school's math diploma requirement. Stopping out of a math sequence can make it difficult later um, to get back into the groove of taking math. Students must complete math at the high school or decide to take math at Green River. Either way, it's a good idea to do so. Please visit the placement section of our site for information on advising and placement. Aside from the uh, placement tests, there are other ways students are placed into math at Green River. If your student feels that the placement scores are not an accurate reflection of their skills, these options may be useful then to them. How do I know which classes at Green River apply to high school graduation requirements? The high school counselor can answer this question when your student meets with him or her to fill out the verification form for Running Start. Different schools accept different courses from Green River to meet specific requirements. It is critical for the student to work with the high school counselor to make sure that your student uh, is meeting his or her high school graduation requirements. Um, 
meeting with the high school counselor every quarter a student is in running start to complete a verification form is necessary. On this form, the high school counselor will indicate which graduation requirements are needed. Students should also use the district equivalency guide found on uh, the Running Start page on the Green River website. Can students receive a degree from Green River at the same time they get their high school diploma? Yes, it is possible to graduate from high school with an associate degree at the same time. This takes careful planning, so be sure to ask a Running Start advisor for help toward the planning of an AA degree. If your student does not plan to graduate from a public high school, he or she has the option of asking the college to issue a State of Washington high school diploma upon completion of an associate degree. Do Running Start classes transfer to other colleges or universities? College credits are transferable to Washington State public colleges and universities and to most private colleges in the state. It is important for students to consult with college admissions representatives and departmental advisors as early as possible. Students should contact out-of-state colleges for their policies and accepting, on accepting Running Start credits. So lastly, and to go over, how do students qualify for Running Start? Prospective students must meet the following criteria. Be enrolled through a public high school district, uh, be a junior or senior according to grade level placement policies of the district the student is enrolled through, be eligible for English 101, be 16 upon admission to the program or turn 16 during the first quarter of the enrollment in Running Start. This concludes our information session. Again, please visit our website or if you have additional questions, you can email us or call us. Thank you very much and we look forward to working with you in the fall.